Hello to my elder millennial and Gen X friends. If you are going through perimenopause or are worried about perimenopause and, and kind of thinking about it in advance, I am putting together a list of herbs that can help with perimenopause symptoms and like things like balancing your hormones, help with hot flashes, help with night sweats, help with irritability, all the whole gamut, help with sleep. And I'm going to do a series of videos on all of those herbs and how to use them and kind of dosages, things like that. The herbs that I'm going to cover include Shadavari, Motherwort, Blue Vervain, Vitex, Dandelion Root, Garden Sage, Mugwort, and Red Raspberry Leaf. And there's, I'm sure there's others that, that can help, but those are the ones that I'm kind of going to go through and talk about, like I said, what they help with, what specific things that they can help ease. And basically what you'll find is different herbs work differently for different people. So you may learn that one of those works best for you. And so that's kind of the one that you stick with. But as I kind of give those recommendations, what I would suggest would be that you pick like maybe two to three and you either get those as teas or tinctures, kind of depending on your patients, um, because teas tend to require more time. Some of them can steep in 15, 20 minutes. Some of them need like an overnight steep versus a tincture. You can take it and use it right away. But like I said, I'm going to be going through all of those herbs in a series of videos over the next several days, maybe a couple weeks. Um, but if that is something that you're interested in, be sure to keep a lookout. And like I said, th that was the full list of herbs. So you can maybe go ahead and, and start and, and buy teas or tinctures. And if you are wanting to do that, my recommended sources for that would be Mountain Rose Herbs is one of my favorite places to get teas, tinctures, powders. Shadavari comes in a powder um, and I actually use it in a powder. I'm not perimenopausal. I still have probably eight or so years before I get there, uh, but I am an herbalist and I have friends who are in perimenopause. Um, also Herb Farm, um, farm as in P-H-A-R-M, like short for pharmacy, is really good for tinctures too. So go back watch that list, maybe pick some that you're interested in. I would suggest starting at the top of the list. I think those are the ones that are best overall for multiple symptoms. But again, there's, there's several that work for specific things. So I hope that you join me for that series.